this is proving to be a bit of fun. Um, I'm trying to build a uh, dual leaf table for the dinette and this needs a bit of trimming but this is the, the basis of it. Um, it clips onto a rail on the wall, that's got to actually be cut down it's, as you can see from my scribbles all over it. It's a work in progress um, and it's hinged so that it allows easy access to sit. I still need to figure out how to support the hinge from underneath to stop it opening up beyond 180 degrees. Um, but obviously it's not going to reach to the passenger seat in the cab. So what I'm going to do is underneath, before I mount the leg, the folding leg, I'm going to put in another leaf which is going to be this bit once I've cut it um, and that will mount, so that's the plate there, that will mount underneath like that and then swivel out to reach the passenger seat or thereabouts. I'm just trying to figure out instead of spending 85 quid on a pre-built mechanism whether I can use this £10 Lazy Susan which presents problems because obviously although you can mount it to one surface you can screw it to one surface you then need to be able to access the other side of the top plate to mount it to the second surface so this might work if I do it right on the edge but then you've got to still find a way of concealing the secondary surface so it doesn't stick out Anyway, it's kept me awake in the night. I don't know why I do this to myself. You know, part of the fun for me is figuring out engineering problems, but they don't have to keep you awake at night. So, onward and upward. That appears to have worked, so I've just cut this down. Um, that's the folding leg, which is going to have to be mounted to two blocks to bring it up, bring the tabletop up to uh, dining level and then the um, swivel plate works quite well so I'm just going to cut the wood around some corners then take it apart and laminate it with formica and do the edging
that tested well. Um, this second leaf, the lower leaf, uh, does need a bit more support somehow. I don't quite know how I'm going to do that yet. But um, it's enough of a working beetle to go ahead with the lamination and paint the undersides. So I've got this um, powder blue, uh, matte powder blue. It's very much like the worktop uh, for Michael laminate sheet. And I'm just going to fit that. I'm going to use contact adhesive to uh, secure that to the surface. Um, the, it's really hard to cut, so actually I found that the best method is by using a router bit with a slight chamfer after it's been glued. So I'm going to cut it larger than I need and then use the contact adhesive and then go around it uh, with the router afterwards. Oh, <coughs> one last thing. Um, the edging, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this knock-on T edging, not the same that I've used for the locker doors. Uh, the reason being is that it's got less of a lip. I'm not sure whether I want such a chunky lip on the table. Uh, that could be a mistake because it might be a good idea to have something that stops things sliding off. Um, but I can always remove this and fit the other stuff if this isn't right solution. <coughs> I'm going to fix, uh, fit this after the Formica laminates on partly because of the lip which um, needs to sit just over the top of the edge of the laminate ideally. So where you cut the groove in the side of the wood with the router bit is important so I need to measure that thoroughly. Actually I think that's the wrong one. That is the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> that's for doing the door hinges. This one's the knock on T edging out a bit. Okay I've just I've just rebated the uh, swivel into the bottom of the tabletop um, to make it a bit more flush and hopefully to hopefully it will mean that the leaf the lower leaf will be a bit more sturdy. Um, so, laminate next. Okay, well I've just found a latch for the lower leaf on the table, which will hopefully hold it in place a little bit. Might need to put a stopper in on that side as well, because it's usually going to spin around that way, but I think I'll add that as a modification. And this is just to, when the leaf folds out, the other leaf, the one that's underneath, this stops it from going any lower.
good. That hasn't chipped the edges, you're not going to be able to see that. But it's uh, It's gone flush and I'm obviously going to edge band T-edge anyway. So um, that's going to look good. I like the colour too. Let's laminate the others and then we'll do the edge banding. But first... So it's a Sunday in November and finally light enough to be able to shoot during the day so apologies if my footage has been a bit crappy the last few nights because obviously when I'm out here it's dark at the moment um, but I just thought I'd show you where I am with the dinette table because again I'm only filming stuff that is unique, bespoke or different and actually in a medium wheelbase van it's quite hard to get the dimensions of your dinette space right and it's always a bit of a gamble because it's one of the first things you have to mark usually I put my belted seat base frame in first as soon as the floor was down so those measurements were critical as to where to mount it and actually it's worked out okay it's tight but you've got to expect that in a vehicle that's less than six meters long anyway the point is that the dinette table has to have compromises and as you'll see in a lot of um, Euro spec, I think they're called uh, panel van conversions. I've gone with a fold open table. And if you were wondering what that first rather crappy looking rebated hole was in the bottom of the first piece, this is where the seat swivel sits. It's rebated just to make the leaf closer to the bottom of the table so it doesn't get in the way of your legs too much when you're sat there and also hopefully to make it a bit more sturdy because it's not going to be the most sturdy piece of kit in the van. But there we go. Um, I've got to put a couple of supports on the B pillar um, to hold it in place to stop it slipping around. Um, I've got one clip for the rail, oops, but actually um, uh, I, could, I might buy another because this, this clamps onto the rail that's mounted to the van side wall and it's actually crucial for holding it steady really, particularly if you're going to have be having dinner on it. So that's the update. Um, the, beds, the beds are done, the dinette seats are done, they're covered. Um, I'll show you those. Uh, so in theory we could, keep, we could keep in there. I very nearly had my first night in there recently but um, had the time to drive home so I haven't actually tried it yet but of course it's cold now and the nights start very early so you're in generally unless you're sat beside a campfire you're in the van for longer so perhaps saving that for spring but um, getting there oh dark again <laughs> right I um, haven't been filming everything this is uh, I've just done the edge banding oh sorry the t-edging uh, which has gone on well. I did get a chip on the lower leaf, so I've had to swap swap ends, but I'm just going to put this back together now and hope it looks as good as I 
thought it was going to look. So that's why you tidy up your garage, because then you find the bits missing from your camera. <laughs> Having a bit of a uh, clean up. <laughs> I've, I think for now anyway, I've finished cutting wood. <laughs> so yeah, you can't see it, but my workbench was a bloody nightmare. And it still is actually, so I'll finish tidying up and then crack on. Right, so this is the final fitting of the dinette table. Um, and I've got a couple of runners, these, to um, mount on here to hold the table in place to stop it moving around. spirit level so I know what's flat and I don't know if you could see it in the bubble for the rail but we are at a slight angle so we need to be on that side okay it works let's just show you how this works Regardless of whether that's staying in or not now, when you want to move it, either one way or the other, by pressing that, And there we go, you get the idea. And then the pièce de résistance is this leaf, which is held in underneath, but it will swing out. And as long as you've got an eye on the leg, it should reach the passenger passenger seat. Which you can't quite see. Let's just show you how that looks. Real quick. Let's lay out for dinner.
this is a working beater. <laughs> Let's just see how this works with the driver's seat the other way around. Strapped in. A crash hazard. I like it. There's a pocket there. It's going to be good for kids. And I just need to put. Oh, I think I've measured. I think I've measured it exactly right. Space-wise, I'll have to publish my dimensions. I mean, the only tight, the only you know potentially contentious bit is the leg access uh, as you climb out here. Spot on. Right, I can actually get further back. Where is that? There we go, look at that. That's even better. <laughs> yeah, just need one more bracket and, uh, and we're off. Happy holidays.